Yes, guys, in the previous video, many of you asked for updated tactics. Let's fulfill that request right away. Another patch came to the game after the last tactics video, and I've made some final adjustments to my tactics to get them ready for you. In the comments, we talked about how enjoyable the game is regardless of being in a lower division. As you can see, I purposely waited to reach the elite division. Chatting with you in the comments is very enjoyable. What do you think? Should I continue for the elite division? Don't forget to write to me. We've had a few tactics since the beginning of the game, and these tactics are still very strong. However, with the recent patches, I've made a few changes, and I'll show them to you. Don't forget to watch until the end. Let's start with the 4-2-3-1 formation. This tactic is not my favorite, but I've optimized it for those who want to control the game and play safely. And for those who still love it, let's dive into it right away. Our sections are like this. I use three bars for corners because I can score from corners. You can adjust this based on your corner taking abilities. In this tactic, your wingers are crucial. You need very fast wingers. For example, I use Werner on the wing in this tactic. The player in the number 10 position is very important. They should have at least four weak foot stars and be good at passing. Other instructions are as follows. If you trust your defense, you can choose one of your back players to come forward in a balanced manner. Sometimes the game can get stuck up front. An extra player can help you. I don't think it'll be a problem because we've selected come back on defense for all the wingers, so I don't think you'll leave too many gaps. Now let's talk about my favorite, the 4-4-2 tactic. I've made some subtle adjustments and I think it's fantastic. I highly recommend you try it. After the recent patch, I think playing narrower is more effective due to a slight nerf in width. You'll notice the difference. We need to increase the depth a bit. Because when you decrease the depth, you think you won't leave gaps behind. But when you give the ball away too much, your opponent makes more passes. And as you know, the game somehow leads to a goal. And most importantly, it takes a long time to regain possession. Let's look at the instructions. I didn't select come back on defense in the last patch, but this time we'll do it. Not to be more defensive, but because that's what the meta demands from us. Especially after losing the ball, it's crucial that your players get behind the ball. The reason we tell our forwards to make runs behind is that currently, through balls and passes are very strong. I'll make a tutorial video on this topic. It's important to give these instructions to goalkeepers. Since crosses are very strong, I suggest selecting these options. Now, let's move on to the tactic that almost all pro players and gamers use, 4-3-2-1. This tactic is truly, truly effective. Despite all the patches, it's still relevant. I don't use it much, but I've optimized it for you. Yes, we changed the depth again. Due to how effective auto blocks are, your defensive players should be close to each other. If you like taking some risks, you can increase this section a bit. But know that when you increase this, your players automatically press and use the offside trap. Those confident in their defense can try this. The mathematics of this tactic is as follows. You send one of your back players forward. I want my left back to move forward. Since you're sending this player forward, choose come back on defense for the player in this position. So when your back player joins the attack, this player will cover his zone. By selecting come back on defense for this player, we can defend this area well. Our other instructions are like this. When you win the ball, these two players become two strikers, effectively turning into a 4-4-2 formation. We don't give any specific instructions to this player, we expect him to be the fourth forward. We choose stay back while attacking for this back player because the other back player is moving forward. So we defend the back with three players. Lastly, let me explain the 4-2-4 tactic. You should use this tactic when you're two or three goals behind and need to take all the risks. Our instructions are suitable for that. We don't select return to defense in any way because we need goals. I've prepared the best tactics for the latest patch for you. I hope you like them. Do you have any suggestions for these tactics? Which tactic do you like the most? And most importantly, did these tactics work for you? Let's discuss in the comments. Stay calm.